Hi, Kirk Lectures. Welcome back to another free hit. In this free hit, we're going to talk about a few things that are in the news right now regarding Pakistan cricket, starting with the under-19 performance at the World Cup. We'll also talk about the Women's World Cup and their schedule. And lastly, we'll talk some PSL. So first up is the Pakistan under-19 team in the under-19 World Cup. They've been pretty impressive. Even though they did not qualify for semifinals, they did win fifth place just yesterday by defeating Sri Lanka. And they really defeated Sri Lanka very convincingly. They set a big total, 300 plus, and bowled Sri Lanka out under 200. So that was really impressive. Two of the under-19 players scored centuries in that game, Hasibullah Khan and Qasim Akram. Qasim Akram is really a player to watch for. He's the under-19 captain. Not only did he score 100, he also got five wickets. Combine those two stats together, and that's a world record for an under-19 player at a World Cup. So congratulations to under-19 Team Pakistan. Even though we didn't get to the final, we did make a convincing appearance and impress a lot of people. Well done, boys. Next up, we have news about women's cricket who are also again preparing full force for the women's world cup that's going to take place in new zealand in march our captain is bisma maruf and our vice captain is nida dar they've been busy training and leading the women along but we want to share with you the schedule of games that are coming up so that you can mark your calendar and support women's cricket in pakistan so the first match they'll be playing is against india on march 6th then on march 8th they play australia followed by south africa on march 11th then they'll play bangladesh and west Indies on the 14th and the 21st respectively and the last two games before the semi-final are going to be against England and New Zealand on the 24th and the 26th respectively so we wish them the best we support our Pakistani women 100% at Cricket Electuals and win or lose we're confident they'll put up a great show now let's turn our attention to the PSL games first we're going to do a quick recap of the results of what's been going on so since the last free hit we've had several games because as you know there's a game every day so starting with Islamabad United versus Peshawar Zalmi, United won the game and Sterling and Hales were the top performers with their aggressive batting. They really set Islamabad on a good course. Next, we had Kings versus Kalunders and Kalunders won with Fakhr impressing with an aggressive inning. But from the other side, the Kings also had Sharjil giving them a very good start. They just didn't capitalize on it. Next, we had Gladiators versus Sultans and Sultans kept their winning streak going. They won again, but it was a close game. Shan Masood from Multan Sultan had a great performance. Khushtil Shah and David Willey from the Gladiators did pretty well. Then we had United versus Sultans. And this time, it was again a close game, but Sultans won, taking their streak to four straight wins in four games. From United, Imad was seen the captain. I meant Shadab Khan. Am I the only one who mixes up Shadab and Imad? Had a great inning. He led from the front and performed really well for his team. Just really couldn't get them through to the finish line. Handing Sultans the victory. Then we had Zalmi versus Kalunder. And, and Kalunders are starting to build a streak of their own. Because Kalunders won with really good performances from the skipper Shaheen and Fakhr Zaman. Fakhr's in his element. And it's really great to see how consistently he's performing at PSL. Next we have Gladiators versus Islamabad United. And United put a thrashing on the Gladiators. Great performance from Monroe and Sterling and Azam Khan from United and they totally sunk gladiators. This was also the first game Shahid Afridi was back but he went for a lot of runs and didn't do anything with the bat. So United is looking like a really really strong team because they're beating teams really convincingly. Like they're giving proper thrashings to teams. Only the Multan Sultans gave him a fight. So the next game is a game that's happening today at the time of this recording, which is Friday morning. And we have Karachi Kings facing Peshawar Zalmi. And it's not looking good for Karachi Kings because they're missing three key players. Muhammad Amr is injured, Clark is injured, and Muhammad Ilyas is injured. So all responsibility rests on the shoulders of Babar Azam and Sharjil Khan. And honestly, even though Karachi Kings is my number two team after the Gladiators in this PSL, I don't think they're going to win this game. It's going to take something really special from Babar and Sharjil for them to get this win because Peshawar Shah Rizalmi is looking like a pretty strong team with Wahab Riyaz back and fit and healthy and doing really good bowling in the right areas then we got Kamran Akmal back he was looking like he was in a great nick so Zalmi is really not going to make it easy for Karachi Kings and Karachi Kings are at the very bottom of the table with three games and three losses so hopefully some miracle happens and they win but it is looking unlikely and our prediction is that Zalmi is going to take this game and just to wrap up while we're talking about the points table for PSL right now our top three teams are Multan Sultans at the very top with four matches matches four wins Islamabad United in second place with three matches two wins and a killer run rate and then Lahore Kalunders with three matches and 
to win. So these are your top three teams right now. A lot can change very quickly in PSL as we know very well. So let's see how the games go. May the best teams win. And this is the end of the free hit. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please make sure you do because we have great video content coming out every week. Keep listening to Crick Electuals. And until next time, this is your host, Jay, signing out. Peace.